Hey everyone, Paige Evans with the Two Peas in a Bucket Garden Girls here today to help you scrap your stash. Now, if you're like me, you have more thickers than you'll ever be able to use in a lifetime. At every CHA and in, even in between, dozens of new fonts, sizes, textures, and colors are released and I must have them all. My thickers stash is embarrassingly large and so I like to use them every chance I get. I knew I wanted to create a long title completely made of a mix of thickers. So, I gathered my supplies, an assortment of thickers, some brand new, some older, a handful of pattern papers from the brand new Lucky Charm line by Dear Lizzie, a few embellishments, my handy dandy knockout sporter punch kit, and of course scissors and glue. I'll go into detail about the supplies as I go along. So the first thing I like to do is start with a sketch and since it's February, the month of love, I'm going to start with a large heart and a pencil in the phrase, Sometimes the smallest things take up the most space in our hearts. And I know there's going to be some empty spaces, so I plan to add small embellishments in those areas. And then I count up how many words there are and choose the thickers based on how many words. So next I'm going to take my background paper. It's an aqua ombre by the Lucky Charm line. And I'm going to punch a lace scalped border all along the top edge using the Knockouts Border Punch by American Crafts just to create some texture and interest. Just match it up along the edge and punch and punch until you've gone all the way across. Next I've die cut a heart using my Cameo and I'm going to trace it using a pencil right onto my layout. I don't really want the lines to show, so I'm going to erase them, but not completely. I still want to be able to see the heart a bit, so I just go over it lightly and wipe away the excess eraser. Next, I've chosen my thickers, and based on the sketch, I'm going to start placing them. And it's really just a trial and error process. I'll start at the top and work my way to the bottom based on the sketch. And I don't press too firmly on my thickers because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of adjusting and moving them around. And the nice thing about thickers is they can be moved easily, but once I want them stuck permanently, I just give them a firm press and they'll stay put. Sometimes with the chipboard thickers, I like to add a bit of additional glue so I know for sure they'll stay put indefinitely because I hang up my layouts on the wall for a few weeks before I tuck them into albums and I've had more than one embellishment or thicker fall onto the ground and then my dog comes and chews it up and I have to put the layout back together. So I've learned my lesson. When in doubt, just add a little bit more adhesive. And I like the liquid glue by Tombow. So as you can see, I'm just working my way placing the thickers according to the sketch. And if I want a word or phrase to stretch from edge to edge, I'll widen the space or the gap between each letter. And if there's not enough room for the entire word or phrase, I'll simply overlap them. So I make my thickers work for me, do what I want them to do in the space they need to fill. I'm in charge here, it's my layout. These thickers do what I want them to do. So I could just continue to place them. And just watch me try and work this out. So the Sometimes font, that is a brand new font from the Lucky Charm collection by Dear Lizzie. The The is an older font, but I love how the pink matches the Lucky Charm line. And the smallest font is also from an older collection, but it's all about scrapping your stash and using the things you have. Things is from the new Amy Tangerine Yes Please line. The word take, those stickers are from the Amy Tangerine Ready Set Go line. The up gold glitter thickers, the font is called Fox, which I particularly love because I have a son named Fox. And those are from the Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic line. Um, the next, the you know, I'm not sure which collection they're from, but I love how they're subtly glittered. And 
these white most thickers are from the brand new Yes Please line by Mimi Tangerine. This font is called Doll, so Doll Thickers, and they're fabric covered, and I love how there's an assortment of uppercase as well as lowercase. And see, when I'm writing, when I'm putting down these thickers, I want them to stretch from edge to edge, so I'm adjusting the space for the word space, coincidentally, and making them even between each word. Here's another newer font-ish. It's from the Kringle & Co. line by American Crafts. It was their Christmas line. And here are some more brand new Yes Please stickers called Goodness in Wood Grain. Now, I definitely know that the word hearts isn't going to fit here at the bottom. And so instead of using like small letter stickers or something, I'm just going to use a vellum heart from the Yes Please line by Amy Tangerine. And a heart stands in for the word hearts, so it's perfect. Now there's some spaces, so I just want to fill in these spaces with some embellishments, like these chipboard arrows from Lucky Charm. So it'll just add a little accent and a little heart also goes along with the theme. Now excuse me while I go stitch around the heart and define the edges. I've chosen these pictures of my daughter Jane when she was two weeks old and my mother-in-law and I couldn't decide between color and black and white so I'm going to use the colored photo as the main photo and then it's this exact same photo but cropped to just Jane, the black and white one at the top just for a little interest. So the next part is all about layering and creating a visually interesting photo mat. So I've chosen this um, note, what's it called? Oh, music note, music note paper from Lucky Charm and this chevron vellum. And for a little bit of whimsy, I have torn the edges. And then this little piece of the pattern paper strip at the bottom, I'm just going to tuck it right here under the photo just for the layering effect and this beautiful floral vellum I've torn a little piece and I'm going to tuck it right here under the edge from the Lucky Charm paper pad I've gone ahead and taken a little little rectangle of this and I want it just want to tuck it under the upper left corner I don't want it to be straight, a little visual interest is good. So from here I've punched heart confetti and I'm going to cut it out, add a little glue, and it looks good right there. We're just creating some layers. Here's a wooden bird veneer by Studio Calico, add a little dollop of glue and stick it by the hearts to create some interest. Next, I'll create the photo mat for my little black and white photo. And here's a tag from the Lucky Charm line. Starts the base of the process. I've torn a sheet from the six by six pad and I'll add some adhesive to the middle. I just add adhesive to the, the middle so that the edges can lift up a bit. I like that dimension that it creates. I'll stick down the photo bend up the edges a little bit. Here's an arrow die cut from the Lucky Charm line. It's arrows and hearts are appropriate for love. The great thing about this piece of chipboard is you can use these letters on a different project. And I'll tuck this up under the photo because she really is loved. Taking a date stamp I love knowing the exact days of the photos. It makes it a lot easier to file them away in my album because I like to organize my albums chronologically. And it's time to stick these photo mats down permanently. Just figuring out the spacing of where I want it to go. And sticks off the edge a bit so we'll just trim away the excess call it good. 
now. I want a few more bits of the scalloped lace border from to tie in the top edge, so I punched just a few more borders from white cardstock, and I'll tuck one under the photo and right along the bottom of the heart, just to make it a little more pretty. Let's point to the cute subject with an arrow sticker and a button. These are all also from the Lucky Charm line. I'm just creating little clusters of embellishments. And in this area, it's pretty empty, so I want to add a few products like this heart die cut sheet from Lucky Charm. It's already die cut for me, so I can just trim away and glue. Here's a little tab sticker. Little phrase sticker. This is extra special. A little chipboard heart to create another embellishment cluster. And then one of my favorite techniques is just drops of spray mist. So I'm taking this Mr. Huey's by Studio Calico and oops, got a little bit on the photos. So we just wipe that away. If you do it quickly, you can wipe it away, no problem. And I'll just drop some spray mist to create a visual triangle. This is gold spray mist. And then to tie in the journaling and to emphasize the heart some more, I'm going to actually journal right around the stitched heart. I'm just writing about this photo, where it was taken, when it was taken, and why it's special. So thank you so much. I hope you learned how to use some of your sticker thicker stash. Here are a couple of more layouts that I've used a lot of thickers on. Create a photo border and then add a title in the middle. Did one for my son and daughter. On this last layout, I just had fun. I took one thicker from every pack I had to create this fun background. Thanks for watching Scrap Your Stash. See you next time.